What is up guys, it's your boy Rick Kakis, and today we have the god roll guide for the brand new Macabre, spelt like mech abre because it's mech themed, very clever bungee, sniper rifle just introduced into Destiny 2 within the Festival of the Lost event that has just gone live. Now, this weapon has some pretty nutty rolls and a guaranteed roll that will knock your socks off. And so, let's get started. But just before we do, I just showered, and you know what? Thanks to Manscaped, it was glorious. I wiped away days of gamer grease, all right? <laughs> My wife loves me again, all right? This, this is an important Cheers. thing to do. You guys are out poning scrubs. How about you scrub your armpits? And to do that, you're gonna need the new Manscaped Buff Bundle. So, this comes with two things of Manscaped Body Wash, made with aloe, sea salt, smells great, it's what you want, and then the all new Manscaped Body Buffer. So this thing is designed to lather up perfectly, get that dead skin, and exfoliate and feel great. What are you doing right now? Are you using your bare hands like a caveman? Or are you doing what I've been doing using your wife's loofah. This thing has been in there for three years. Oh it's probably hey. radioactive by now, oh okay? So God. listen, this is not the play. This is what you want. So if you guys are interested in getting that buff bundle, click the link in the description down below. If you do, you get 20% off your order and free international shipping. Clean it up at a discount. Click the link, gamers. All right, now first things first, how do you actually get this sniper? Well, it is a random drop from the new Haunted Lost Sector activity. So you need to go and acquire spectral pages and you can get those from completing activities like strikes or some are given out uh, by Eva Levante with her main quest line. And then you go into this activity, depending on how many headless bosses you kill, you're gonna manifest those pages and then get a big loot explosion at the end and part of that loot can be randomly rolled macabre sniper rifles. In addition to that, if you do Eva Levante's main quest line, apparently the final reward is this roll here guys. You get accurized rounds to increase the range, snapshot for better ADS speed, opening shot for increased range and accuracy in the first shot of an attack with a range masterwork, I think. Th this is actually an incredible like S tier roll that is apparently guaranteed. Like I've seen at least four people get this exact same roll. I unfortunately haven't been able to get it because my quest line is bugged. PSA, yeah, apparently manifesting pages just won't count towards the quest line and a lot of people are having this issue so keep an eye on you know the bungee help twitter hopefully they can fix this uh, pretty soon but even if you're stuck on the quest line you can still farm for this weapon uh, from the new activity and the random rolls you can get are also super exciting now this is a high impact frame archetype so highest damage slowest rate of fire, only three rounds in the magazine, and additionally, it comes with a new never-before-seen origin trait. In fact, all of the Festival of the Lost weapons, including the older ones like the Braytech Werewolf, come with this origin trait called Search Party. This weapon is granted faster aim down sight speed and movement speed while aiming down sights when no allies are near. So if you're lone wolfing it, if you're playing Trials and you're the guy flanking around, this is gonna be active and with a snipe rifle, I mean, faster aim down sight speed, faster strafe speed, that is extremely relevant. Like this could be pretty saucy, especially in PVP. But now let's go and take a look at the perks it can actually acquire. So, in terms of barrels, generally you're looking for something to increase that range. However, I would stay away from full bore because stability is tied to your flinch, so that could matter. Hammer Forge is probably the better choice. 
Then in the magazine column, you're definitely looking for accurized rounds for PVP, you want that range. And then for PVE, you really want to increase that three round magazine. So appended or extended mag is 100% the play there. Then in the first main perk column, we do have perpetual motion. Um, and those are some pretty relevant benefits, especially increased to handling. However, on a sniper, we'll see. Triple tap is amazing in PvE, massively increasing your single target damage, giving you extra ammo generated out of thin air, amazing. Snapshot sights, PvP all-star. No distractions, gonna reduce that flinch and actually pretty darn decent. Clown cartridge, PvE all-star, massively increasing the magazine size. Autoloading holster can be very good for DPS, letting you, you know, go to town with your sniper, switch to something else, go to town with that, switch back to your sniper, it's fully reloaded. Then in the next perk column, we have Vorpal Weapon, very good in PvE, more damage against bosses, and in PvP as well, more damage against super, especially since this is a high impact frame, you can one-shot people out of their supers sometimes with this. Opening shot, fantastic for PvP, giving you the stats you want on that first shot to secure the kill. High impact reserves can be great for DPS and PvE. Moving target can be decent, but again, it's built into the origin trait, so you, I don't think you need this necessarily. Swashbuckler is a very interesting one. I don't think you're going to be getting too many melee kills followed up by uh, sniper shots. And then we actually have Slick Jaw, which is a brand new one. Uh, significantly increases handling and decreases target acquisition. I don't think you want this. You really want as much target acquisition as possible for a sniper. Now, importantly, there's one perk you can get for this sniper that isn't in the database, and that is Volt Shot, which is going to jolt targets after you get a kill and reload. Volt Shot is an incredibly good PvE ad clearing perk. I mean, I just made a video about how good it is on the seasonal sidearm. I love it there. But on a sniper... I don't think that's what I want for PvE, and then for PvP, I'm sure we will see some saucy Twitter clips of someone getting like a five-man kill because of Volt Shot, but I think generally you want, because especially because you have so little ammo in the Crucible, you want to sure up those kills like with your one shot of Sniper rather than have a perk that's really good for potentially chaining kills. Like, Because you're going to need to get a whole kill initially and then reload it and then start the Jolt chain. But just so you're aware, it can spawn with that. But wow, we have some pretty good God Rolls here. Four PvP, I think the god roll is going to be something like, you know, Hammer Forge combined with Akurai's and then Snapshot Sights or No Distractions. There's a slight argument for Perpetual, but not too much of an argument. And then you're really going for, I think, Opening Shot, right? And the fact that that is basically the roll you get guaranteed for doing the quest is nutty. However, you could also go with Vorpal Weapon or even high impact reserves. Remember, you know, you're only going to start with like, you know, one round in the magazine. So this is going to be active in the Crucible, like pretty much immediately. So that is an option there. Um, but again, the, the guaranteed role being so good, that's one of the highlights of this event. Moving on from there, though, the PvE god roll is also incredibly saucy. So, the barrel certainly doesn't matter as much, but you really want appended or extended for that magazine size. And then, I think you're probably going for either triple tap or clown cartridge. So generally what you can do is you put on like an extended mag, then you add a backup mag mod, and then you should be able to get the magazine size to five potentially. And then if you do, triple tap is going to trigger twice in one magazine, and that is a significant amount of damage output. Now, you can also potentially just use clown cartridge to make it a little bit more efficient and maybe even get up to that, you know, five round mark or get a pretty significant magazine size increase without having to use backup mag. You can use clown cartridge and then have boss spec on for a little bit extra damage. Then in that second column, Vorpal Weapon is, I think, the pretty clear winner here. Just that guaranteed extra damage against bosses in all scenarios. It doesn't make you jump through any hoops, but... You know, high impact reserves certainly isn't bad and is also going to be outputting a significant amount of DPS and it does pair a little bit better 
with triple tap. It's a bit of a wombo combo because triple tap is going to add rounds back in. So you're triggering high impact reserves as you get to the bottom of your magazine. And then you can potentially shoot your last shot, which is, is gonna do like 26% more damage. Then get that last shot back with triple tap and shoot another super high damaging one with high impact reserves. That's kind of the combo there. But again, for a general purpose, I think it's still going to be Vorpal Weapon. It's just good all the time. And so guys, there you have it. Pretty darn good PvE and PvP rolls. Absolutely a weapon worth farming for, especially like a good PvP roll with that search party uh, origin trait could give it an edge over existing options. Guys, that is it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.